Hey guys, Stinger here with another gameplay commentary. Uh, a little bit of a Warhawk domination gameplay. Probably not the most exciting gameplay you've ever seen, but uh, it was still good nonetheless, and it was playing with some of my homeboys uh, on, on Xbox 360. So I had like two or three things that were on my mind. Number one, broken fucking spawn systems. I mean, what the hell? You know, I was talking to uh, my friend BZ, uh, Bees Riot, about... The, the broken spawns because we all have been fucked over by a spawn and we've all fucked somebody else over by a spawn. I've actually seen guys spawn in front of me. Um, the spawns are just so fucking broken in this game. They never got it right. And I don't know what's more frustrating. Well, actually, I'm going to take that back. I do know what's more frustrating. And what I'm going to talk about is Black Ops 2 was a broken game. Uh, the camera angles were absolutely bullshit. You could come from one direction on certain maps, and you would see a certain amount, and if you came from the other direction on a map, then you would see a different version of what was going on, and one would be behind the other, not because of internet connection, because they showed, they had tests, uh, Drifter did it, with a split screen, so they're on the same exact internet connection, it's not because of... of um, lag compensation it's because of the fact that the camera angles were broken the way that the software was written you could see some people one way faster than you could see them the other way uh that was so frustrating to me and it was so annoying to me and i you know the, i think the problem was i never truly figured out how it worked and i think that there were guys out there on black ops 2 that did figure it out they may not know that they figured it out but they had an intuition of what routes to take on the max because maps because it would give them advantage as far as seeing the other people before they were seen and giving them an advantage towards killing the other players well i again black ops 2 was broken what happened in Call of Duty Ghosts is they were so worried about spawn trapping, and of course we spawn trapped the shit out of them in MW3, but instead of creating the random spawn every now and again, everything is a fucking random spawn in Call of Duty Ghosts. Um, and this is especially frustrating if you're playing Domination or an objective-based game type. I mean, look, if you're playing Team Deathmatch, you're kind of playing, you should be playing a little bit slower maybe, or, you know, you're going to use every inch of the map, you know, so if someone spawns next to you, it's not as uh, as big of a deal, but when you're playing Domination and you're trying to control the map, you should be able to anticipate where the enemy is coming from, especially if they control one area, that's where they should be spawning from, but frickin' Call of Duty's uh, damn uh, algorithm, I guess is what it is, that, that creates uh, or and, and manages the spawning system is so broken. It's so ruined. And they won't address it. Um, they'll worry about nerfing submachine guns and, and, and IEDs, and I give them credit for that part of it. But come on, I mean, the spawns are absolutely broken in this game. Um, it has happened too many times where there'll be five of us in one area of the map, one guy hangs out, and, um, you know, and I, 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 it's mostly Forrest who sees people spawn directly in front of them. They spawn in the game because the algorithm is broken. It doesn't work. And it's broken intentionally. It's done the way it's done intentionally to keep you from spawn trapping people. Well, the deal is, is that spawn trapping is part of Call of Duty. Um, that's why you got to play with a squad. That's why you got to play with a team. And I, I can't stand it. And, you know, that's what makes me so glad that when I bought this game, I bought a used copy of it. I knew within two weeks somebody would turn this game in and say, F this game. I don't ever want to play it again. And you know what? Sure as shit, it came true. I went to GameStop two weeks after the game came out, bought a used copy, and I did not give Activision any of my money at that time. I have paid for the uh, downloadable content, which is another bullshit move on their part. They knew they had uh, two, way too big a maps for 360. They're trying to um, encourage you to go to Xbox One, but I'm not going to Xbox One. I am going to buy an X-Bone, but not for Call of Duty Ghosts. And quite frankly, um, there's no need to run out and buy an X-Bone right now. The next Call of Duty is absolutely coming out on 360. In fact, many of the games coming up are going to be made on 360 and Xbox One. I'm not saying the graphics quality won't be better on Xbox One, but come on. I mean, why would you spend $400 to, and, and that's the good thing is they've dropped the Kinect, and I'm going to get into that in a second, but why would you drop spend $400 when you're actually just buying a video game? That that's ridiculous. You don't need to do that. You um you play the video game system that you have. That's what you do. You don't have to sit here and buy a whole new system just to play the new game, uh, especially when it comes out on both systems. But how about you guys that bought the damn X Bone and were told that it had to be four hundred ninety nine dollars? It was a minimum. It was a bargain. It was a value. The Connect mic is worth so much, and we the system won't even work without a con uh, um 
Connect mic. Hmm, sounds familiar, doesn't it? Another lie by Microsoft? Wait a second, let's think about it. Didn't they tell us that you'd always have to have an always-on internet connection? The game system would not work without an always-on internet connection? Oh, shit, another lie by Microsoft? It is kind of crazy that they can get away with so many lies in their marketing and advertising. I mean, now, don't get me wrong, we the consumers are the ones that have to serve them the backlash. You know, if someone lies to you about their product or puts out a piece of shit, don't buy that product anymore. But in this case, we're still buying the product, but we're not... Um, we're still buying the product, not in the numbers that they had hoped, but we're still buying the product, and we don't see, it doesn't seem like we have a, a real and true recourse for outright lies. It's just like with Activision saying there'd be no quick scoping in Call of Duty Ghosts. Now, I'll grant it, there is less quick scoping, but there's 100% absolutely quick scoping in Call of Duty Ghosts. And if you don't know what a quick scope is and you don't play Ghosts, get off this fucking video and don't watch this channel anymore. But yes, there's absolutely it. And it's just weird that you can get that these manufacturers can get away with so many lies. It is just really and truly bizarre. And we're not talking about puffing or exaggerating. We're talking about out and out lies. I read all the articles when before they released Xbox One where they said the system would absolutely 100% not function without an always-on internet connection, and it would never, ever possibly work because the camera system was integrated into it. It had to have a camera, and everything is a fucking lie. Uh, you know, it's just amazing. But um, And then to add to my hypocrisy, I probably will be getting an X-Bone soon. I don't expect to be playing it very much, if at all. In fact, it'll probably sit up in the closet um, collecting dust in its packaging. But my wife needed something to get me for my birthday, and that's probably the best thing to do it. And at least I'm getting it after the uh, the first big price reduction. I'm sure there's another price reduction coming, but I'll probably go ahead and get this one. And um, I will get the next Call of Duty game on the Xbox One, but I'm not going to be getting any... Um, I won't be buying any more new games for 360 once that next game comes out in November. But I figure what I can do now is I can start picking up things piecemeal. Like I know I'm going to want a scuff controller for the Xbox One. I don't need it immediately, so it'll probably just sit up there. But um, And I probably won't need a scuff controller when Destiny comes out. But that is a game that I would want to play on the Xbox One. There's a couple different little games I'd want to play on it. Um, because of the graphics differentiation, and everybody says the Xbox, the, the Xbox One graphics are better, and I believe it. There's no doubt that it isn't better. I don't think you need it. I just think it's better. Uh, but anyway, that was the gameplay. Uh, that was my thoughts for today. I'll uh, put up another video soon. You guys have a good one. Hope you had a good Memorial Day weekend.